Welcome to part three out of the series. And in this video, we're going to go over semantic markup. Semantic markup protects the elements that don't affect the structure of your web page, but adds more information to them. And I'm going to start off with uh, strong. Strong adds uh, bold to your text to signify a grand amount of importance. And I'm going to demonstrate that right here. See it right, uh, right up here. It says hello in bold. Emphasis adds italics to your text. It's mainly used to distinguish words from other text. The next one is block quotes. And block quote specifies a section that is quoted from like another source. So I took this out of the uh, Mozilla, um, Mozilla Developer Network. I cited the website up here and a quote is right in the middle of the, um, block, the block quote tags. The Q tag, the quote tag. To be honest, I don't know why we have the quote tag, but the quote tag. Hold on, let me get this all set up. Okay, so quotes. In a nutshell, it just defines short quotes. HTML stands for the quote starts there, hypertext markup language, and then the quote ends there. I don't know why we just don't add regular quotes, but whatever. Abbreviation. Abbreviation defines an abbreviation when you hover over it. So I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna have to click on the um on the browser to actually hover over it. And you see right there, hypertext markup language. The next one is sites. So site. Site in a nutshell references to any creative work. So if I save this, bring it up, you see hotline bling in italics. That's it. Next one is definition. Definition Definition represents a definition term. If I say oh damn it. Save that. And then there you see programming in italics. Hey, actually I should turn this comma into a that. There we go. That looks better. Next one. So address defines the contact info for the author of a document or article. So I have one right here. If I save it, everything's written in italics. Right here. So deletes and inserts. Delete and insert. Uh, okay, let's start off with insert. Insert defines a text that's been um, inserted into a document, hence the underline. And deletes defines a text that has been deleted from a document, hence the crossover or strike through. So the last tag will be the S tag. S is um, short for strike through. At least I hope so. And you may think that this is similar to um, deletes. Well, it's similar, but the, the S tag is mainly meant for um, indicating text that is like not accurate or uh, relevant. So, for example, I have these two prices. Crossed out the was one hundred dollars, and now the new price is ninety nine ninety nine. So this is most of everything for the semantic markup. In a couple days. Probably Friday. Wait, what day is it? Tuesday? No, no. Uh, Thursday. On Thursday, I'm gonna release a video about the new HTML5 um markup. So things like um header, nav, uh article section, etc. So on and so forth. And I'm also gonna release a video about the rest of um structural markup because I forgot a few. So with that, I'll see you then.